There we go. Okay. Gotta put on chat. There we go. Okay, guys. I don't know if I put chat on or not yet. Yay, okay. Can you see me? And, okay. I guess the first question is, do you have sound? Because <laughs> I don't want to start all this without sound. And I guess I should say happy afternoon or good afternoon. Good morning. It's 12 here, so I guess it's barely. It could be considered morning, depending on when you woke up. It's Sunday. <laughs> you guys got volume? And sound. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so the plan today, I've talked to a couple people, uh, one in, in particular, Dina, who's been having some issues um, making bath bombs. And I guess a part of that, or a, actually a big chunk of that, is probably my fault. Because um, you guys know I have like over 500 plus videos, okay? And I do a lot of different things and a lot of different videos. So it can get confusing as to what recipe that I'm using. And I guess she's tried, oh, I couldn't even tell you how many recipes, but a ton. And I guess what what I could gather from her messages was that she was mixing. Hi, Heidi. I thought you were supposed to be sleeping, my friend. Um, what I've gathered is she's kind of mixed a few of my recipes together. And she's having a really hard time, um, oh, with a few things, with, okay, she got her bomb to float, so that was a good one, but she's having trouble with the colors spreading in the water, making it look nice. She said that it's, she gets like a, like a foamy sludge type on top of the water. It's not really doing what she wants it to do, but she also said that there was, um, like, in the one recipe, she decided to add, like, natrosorb, and then, um, uh, like, a surfactant besides SLSA, like, a liquid surfactant. So, she's kind of mixed a bunch of recipes together. So, what I want to do today, and hopefully this will help straighten some stuff out for all you guys, is I'm going to make a bling recipe, not a jewelry bomb, but just the recipe I'm going to make some Halloween bath bomb eyeballs, okay? So it's going to be the hand-molded bowls, a couple colors with the embed, and a basic bling recipe. So I'm going to show you. I'm not, I don't bloom colors, but when I mix, you can see how they kind of come alive. So the bomb basically is going to be white. I am going to do blue for the, uh, the iris of the eye, and I'm going to, I used to do the black and the blue, I'm just going to paint the black and the white afterwards, so it's only going to have a blue center, like, a, on the edge. The surface will be blue, like the eyeball thing. And I'll paint the rest, and it's going to have red embeds. So it's going to be a bling recipe to show you guys just how I make the standard bling recipe. But while I've got you guys on here, because this was brought up so many times about people using mica and not using whatever you're not supposed to use in a bath bomb, and you want a color show and all that stuff. So, and no poly, because you guys know that I don't use poly. But, on that one note, I don't use poly 80. I will, and have been known to use, ouch, poly 20, okay? This is the only poly, turn around, this is the only poly 20, or poly that I'll use. And the reason I use this, and I say that, that's if I'm not using turkey red, okay? Because turkey red is the only oil that's soluble in water, like made that way. You can make any of your light oils soluble in water by doing equal parts of poly 20 with your oil. So if your recipe calls for four tablespoons of a light oil, it's going to be two tablespoons of poly 20, two tablespoons of your oil. And I mix those together with the oil, okay? And I have been known to do this and actually add other oils. Like you can add hemp seed in with it, whatever. As long as you've got this or even the, uh, even the turkey, you can mix turkey oil 
with other oils. It helps. That way you don't have to use poly 80, okay? But today, I thought I was going to have to do something else as far as oils go because I thought I was out of my apricot, but I just searched and lo and behold, I did find a couple of my, um, my bottles of apricot. So I'll just be using apricot just to, oh Jesus, just to show you guys. So I'm just going to have a quick boo at your, um, Texas, if that's okay, messages. <laughs> yeah, Heidi, I know you're not alive. Oh, you got your uh, SLSA. Awesome. Okay. You know you don't need a lot, eh? I know there's a ton of recipes out there on the internet that say, oh, you need, like, cups of it and cups of it. You don't. I use, like, two to four tablespoons in all my bubbling bath bombs, and they are actually bubble bath bombs. If you want your... I don't want to confuse you guys too much, but you guys know how I use, like... I like to use my Bioturge, too. When you use the Bioturge, either alone or with the SLSA, you'll get a different foam. Don't expect to have a massive bubble bath if you use the Bioturge. That is something different. It'll give you a nice, creamy, silky type... How do you explain it? It's, it's like a flash foam, okay? It's not going to hold up as far as a bath bubble bath goes, unless you add more SLSA to this. But I'm not going to use Bioturge today. I'm just going to do my strict, straight bling recipe, so there's no confusion, so hopefully that it'll help all of you. Oh, and the other thing that I wanted to explain to you guys, because you guys have heard me, I wanted to mention this the other day, and I did a video, and it didn't work, so I never uploaded it. But anyways, you guys know, and there's a lot of talk, by the way. I'll, I'm jumping around. I'm sorry. You guys know I do that. It's called adult ADHD. <laughs> um, there's a lot of talk. Uh, I know a ton of people are, like, dead set on using 91%. I don't use 91%. Only for painting. Or if I'm spraying with my air compressor for detail airbrush paintings. That is the only time I use 90% or 91 or 99, okay? I normally always use a 50% or a 70% rubbing alcohol. You guys may recall me telling you that I hate witch hazel because it makes powdery bombs. I've discovered something about witch hazel. The witch hazel that you guys buy in the drugstore is mixed with alcohol. That's why your bombs are being powdery and disgusting and crumbly and not a smooth texture. The way to cure that, now that I'm here, and I'll show you. Ugh. This, my friends, is the best witch hazel you can buy for bath bombs. This is a witch hazel distillate. It is pure witch hazel. It is made from the leaves, the barks, the, 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 the roots, everything to do with the witch, ha the witch hazel plant. Okay, there's no added alcohol other than the alcohol that it's made with. It is basically a distillate of, of witch hazel and water. This is what you want. This makes an amazing smooth bomb, hard rock solid. You don't even need the alcohol, okay? Um, the only time, like I said, if you wanted to, you can, if you do alcohol and witch hazel, would be... The other way, Hazel. But you, you can use alcohol with this. Don't get me wrong. I do like a couple sprays. But if you get the proper Witch Hazel distillate, you can't get this at the drugstore. You got to order it from um, a soaping supply supply. supply blah, 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 a soaping supply place. Okay? This is the best Witch Hazel. This is used for so many things. Like, you know, perfume. I mean, th this is, this is the, the Hazel you want. Don't buy the drugstore crap, okay? If you're going to use the drugstore crap, make sure you use like a 70% or 50% rubbing alcohol. But you're going to you're gonna need way more of the alcohol than you would of the drugstore hazel. But this is the one you want to get if you can, okay? I mean, in a crunch, sure, buy the drugstore crap. But like I said, it would be basically two squirts and then you're going for the alcohol. Try to avoid using a lot of the drugstore hazel, okay? That's the hazel you want. So I have switched completely up. Now we are into the distillate. This is pure distillate witch hazel, okay? Oh, 
Okay, so you, the only thing you have is a 70% with no hazel. That's fine. The 70 will work great. It works great for the bling recipe. So don't worry about it. I'm just saying when and if you do buy hazel, make sure you buy the distillate. Okay, that's a big thing. I mean, you like I said, you can use the drugstore stuff, but it would be like, uh, and then the rest is alcohol. Okay, the whole point of when you make this bling recipe is you don't really need a lot of spray because of the way that the mix is made. And I will show you that. So you guys, I'm just going to get into this and we'll get going. How's that? Because I know you guys probably have crap to do. And uh, the shirt for the day, has everybody seen it? Can you read that? I run on caffeine, chaos, cuss words, mom life. And you guys know that's true. If it's not a coffee... It's a pop. And no, I am not endorsed by Coca-Cola. Although I should be because of the amount I probably keep them in business. Uh, unless it's Retro Pepsi, which is there's my clash. But I only like the Retro Pepsi. Anyways, just fueling and we'll get going. So, and another thing too is the... Well, I'll just kind of go explain as I go along, I guess. So, we have... This has just got a little bit of bath bomb residue in it. Don't sweat it. Best idea, by the way, too, guys, is to sift your soda. Um, I'm not going to today, just for time. But my true bling recipe, guys, okay, calls for three cups. Three cups. By the way, these are dry measure cups. You don't have to. It can be whatever. If you decide to do, oh, I don't know, a, a cup of a glass. The ratio, as long as you keep the ratios good, okay? But this one calls for three soda. So there's one. There's two. Oops. That's three. And we got to get the clumps out. Not that there's a lot, but yeah, there's a few. And it's so nice. You know what? The humidity down here is 59, and I don't feel it in the mix. So that's good. You guys know it's handy to uh, it's handy to get you guys um, a humidor. Humid what are they called? It's a humid humididor or something? I don't know. It's a freaking humidity reader. I don't know the true name of it, but that's what it is. It tells you what the humidity is in your house. You can get the ones that tell you about the humidity outside because that does affect it too. But I just tend to go by more with the humidity in the house because you know that's where your bombs are going to be. That's where you're making them. That's where they're going to dry. So that's sort of more important. As long as your house is cooler than whatever it is outside, I think you're okay. But you know what? Now that this cool weather's here too, it's going to be so much easier for you guys to make bombs. Some people just can't. You know what? Someone asked me if some people just can't make bath bombs. It's true. There just are. It's not. It's nothing against you. It could be where you live, whatever. They're not made for everybody. You know, that's why there's people out there that make them. And I know that sounds kind of, you know, it sucks, but that's it's a true fact. It's like not everybody can make friggin' lotion or whatever. It just, you know, that's life. I'm sorry to say. But yeah, it's funny when people think, oh, bath bombs. I'm just going to mix this, this, and this together and I'll have a beautiful bomb. Doesn't work that way, guys. Can't do it overnight. Rome wasn't built on the night, and so no were no, neither were any other companies built in overnight. Okay, so that's three cups of soda. Oh no, we're getting low on citric again. I think I have bags. I gotta buy more soda too, so this is gonna be like the last demo you guys are gonna see for a while until I get some uh, more soda. But citric, I do one. Two, and a bit. And my bit is like, bloop, that's it. Yeah, I definitely need more Cedric. Okay. So, so far, what do we have in here? We have three cups of soda, two and a bit cups of Citric. Okay, mixer in here really good. Oh, my kids are on the guitar again. Okay, now... Of course, this is going to be um, my basic bling, so we're going to use cream of tartar. In my recipe, I told you guys, you can use one tablespoon or two. It makes for a harder bomb. It makes for a smooth bomb. 
It improves your bomb's performance in the tub. This will work amazing even if you don't have SLSA in here. Your bomb will fizz like it does. It won't keep the bubbles, but it will look like it does, okay? So I'm adding two. 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 It can be a little bit heaped. It don't matter. Just sort of a... I know you're supposed to... When you're selling, you are supposed to measure. It's good to keep track of your ingredients and your... How much you use to figure out costs and stuff, but... You know, I'm just doing a demo right now. So that's two cream of tartar. Where's my SLSA? Okay, and I've told you guys this before. This little Kool-Aid scoop thing here holds two tablespoons, okay? So I fill it up. Sometimes a little bit heaping, but not too much. Right there, that's my SLSA. That's it. There she goes. That's all the bomb's getting. Two tablespoons of SLSA, it's all you need. And everybody knows what SLSA does, okay? It's for bubbles, but it also emulsifies your oil. That's why you don't need the poly. And people probably don't know that, or maybe I've never told you guys. SLSA is what gives you the bubbles. The fizz, the creamy foam, helps spread your colors on top. Same with the starch. The starch is a softener, makes your bombs lighter. It's awesome, slick feel on your skin. Many uses for cornstarch. That is uh, between a quarter and a third of cornstarch. And that's all she gets for dry. That's it. There's no more dry involved in this whatsoever. None. So we're going to mix that in good. I am going to need another bowl because uh, I'm doing a little tiny bit of blue. Okay. Oh, now I feel a little bit of humidity. It must have been the starch. Okay, so that's mixed well. Very well. And I guess while we're doing this, I think I need to get another bowl. And move some stuff so we got some room here. I need my bomb tray. I also need bomb molds, don't I? Huh. Can't make a bath bomb without a mold. Well, you could try. What do I want to use today? What size should we do, guys? What size bombs? Should we do some normal Zen bombs or should we do some oval? Eyes are eyes round or oval? I'm wondering if I should do oval or round. Hmm. I don't know. Eyes are oval. They're not really round, are they? Oh, Heidi, I can't believe you're still working. Hey! Nana! Nana's here. Okay. So, round? I don't know if I want to do round or if I want to do oval. Damn it. I don't even know where my freaking round molds are. Hold on. Shit. Shoot. Sorry. Pardon my French. Or my mouth. It's not French. It's not French. I don't know why people say that. French people don't swear. I don't know where my round molds are. All right. Well, guess what? Sorry, guys, we're having oval bombs because I can't find my round ones. Oh, well, we're going to have oval eyeballs. Okay. I have red embeds here. This has got everything except the oil. So, oh, and my fragrance. We're going to do, I always do witch's brew for my eyes. It's just the way we go. Okay, so. Get the gloves. What's the matter? Oh, here comes the boys. Or a boy. Who is that, Liam? Yeah. What you doing? Yeah. Okay. I'm just doing a video. Mm -hmm. They've all seen you now anyways because they've seen you in the... The... Is there? Yeah, thank you. Couldn't think. No, there's stuff in the dryer. On the dryer. This should be yours. Your lounge pants, I think, were there, and a couple other things at the end. Okay, guys, so this is all dry. Now, I'm not going to add poly to this, because I did the SLSA. I could if I wanted to. And like I said, you guys, you could use turkey oil. 
That's a good one, but we don't need it. It's not too humid today, so I'm going to just stick with the normal apricot, okay? And I'll show you guys. You saw the batch. There was three soda, two and a bit citric, so that's going to be one tablespoon of oil per one cup of main dry. And that was the main dry, so I'm going to put in five tablespoons of oil. Oops, I just missed a bit. One, two, three, four... And we may need a bit more, but that's we don't want to overdo it at first. Can you please on that? Can you help untie them? Untie them? Yeah, untie them. Give it to me. I can do it with gloves on. Crap, Liam. No, you need to get a fork in here because I don't have anything pokey. Okay. Take it up and put a fork right in there. You can see the spot. Put it in the knot part. Okay. Sorry, can't do it with gloves and the knot's too small. I gotta do my nails so I can do stuff like that. Okay, and since I've been told that sometimes I don't fragrance enough, <laughs> that's only with essential oils, by the way. I do scent very well with fragrances. So anyways, this is Nature's Garden, which is brew. Absolutely love this. This is a three mil pipette. I normally do two. So that would be six mils, but just for shits and giggles. And to make sure that there's a bit of a smell, since it is going into a huge tub, guys, remember? You just saw how many I did three. Okay, so that's like nine mils. And that might not be enough, but I, this, this, yeah, this particular fragrance is quite strong. And I like it. I like that it's got like that cinnamon smell. And every time you go to use this fragrance to me, it changes. I smell chocolate sometimes. It's just, it's a nice, I find it a nice fragrance. Okay. So where's my good spoon? Okay. So what I like to do once I put the oil in, because obviously it's, you guys can see that it's not mixed. It's just kind of floating on top. I like to use my spoon. I would use the whisk, but it gets stuck inside and drives me batty. So right now, this is just the oil and the fragrance, right? And then we're going to mix this through really well, because I do have to take some out to add a bit of blue, right? I'm not going to, it's not going to be like half and half, because I'm only going to be using a little bit of blue. Make sure you get all the oils off the sides. Now this is where, if I had color in here... It wouldn't look very bright until you start mixing like this. And this is what I tell everybody to do. You can whisk this till the cows come home. It is not going to mix as good as when you mix it like this with your hands because you want it all through. And I don't mean just go like this. I've showed you guys this a thousand times. Don't just go la 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 la. No. You want to do like Ren does and get her mixer in there? Go ahead. But you still got to use your hands. It just does not spread as good device other than your hands. That's just the way it goes. I'm telling you. So and then I get my um where is it? I love my pastry cutter. You guys have seen sorry, I'm out of the picture. You guys have seen this many times. It's great. It gets right down to the bottom, gets those chunks, gets the stuff that's not mixed mixed. You guys don't see any floofing, do you? There's no powder coming up. It's not floofy anymore. This is what the mix looks like here with just, um, I wish I had a camera above me, with just the oils, okay? You see that? You see how I can squeeze it and it kind of holds, but look. That's how you know there's enough oil in there. I could probably actually get away with a bit more, but I feel it. It feels damp. It's nice. So that is a good amount of oil. Okay, it's still, you want to keep it floofy, but you want to be able to pack it. So now, can I, there's a crumb in there. I'm going to take some out for some blue, okay? So, I don't know how much I'm going to need for blue. Because I'm only just doing a spatter, so that's probably uh, one more handful. Okay, all right. So, my white is good, other than the hazel has not been added yet. This one needs blue. 
So I'm going to just use my blue lake, okay? Nothing else fancy, no sparkles, no nothing. We're going to use my blue, blue number one lake. And I'm going to start off. It's not a full bowl, you know that, right? So what is this one? This is a quarter teaspoon. I'm not even using the whole thing. No. Yeah, I guess I will. Okay, so it's a quarter teaspoon. Can you see that? Quarter teaspoon of blue. All right. This is just for the, uh, what is it called again? The retina or the cornea or whatever. Not the retina, whatever. The color part of your eye. So then I mix a bit of that in with the whisk, obviously. Get it all in there as much as you can so that you don't see any white. Okay, now I want to show you something. Can you guys see that color blue? You see how it's like the color of my gloves? This is where you get your hands, okay, and you're doing this. This will make your colors come out even darker and I think I need to add a bit more because I want darker blue eyes. I don't think I want baby blue eyes, do we? I actually could make baby blue eyes, but no, I want darker eyes. So, we're going to add some more blue. I'm going to go for another quarter teaspoon. I know that seems like a lot, but like I said, I, I want it to show in the water. You're only going to well, just a bit of type thing. The eyeball, right? Just for the color part. Okay. Get her all mixed. Shut up. <laughs> Still looks the same baby blue. So, that's what I said. With the oil that's in here. Can you guys see me? There. With the oil that's in here. Now you get your hands and you smush. And you'll get a darker blue. And once I put the alcohol in here, or the hazel too, it'll really come out. Because don't forget, lakes are, uh, what is it? Oil soluble. Dispersible. Something like that. You'll have to ask Heidi. <laughs> Heidi is the pro when it comes to, I can never remember, um, you know, the proper term. So anyways, here's the main batch now. So now we're going to add, I'm going to use the real hazel distillate here. Okay. And yes, it does activate. So you just do a couple squishes couple sprays and start mixing and really mix it's gonna stick to the side so that was I forget how many you just did I like to do just a couple at a time make sure you get it off the side of the bowl because that's where it will stick get in there and mix it all through you want it all through Not too bad, actually. I'm going to add just a couple sprays of my uh, 70, though. If you were just using 70, then obviously you would just be doing this with all the 70, okay? I think that's it. I'm telling you by looking at it, as you mix, you'll see it'll kind of want to clump in your... It'll kind of clump in your bowl as you're mixing after you've added the alcohol and stuff. So that kind of gives you a good indication. Plus, I told you... When I mix with my um, whiskey here, it tends to get all stuck inside. That's a good indication, too, that it's ready. But ultimately, the ultimate test is to grab a junk. Manhandle. I mean, manhandle, okay? Stayed. So the white is right. And oh, it's got a tiny hint of baby blue, which is actually very appropriate and accurate for an eyeball. So that's fine. Okay, now we're gonna do the blue. And I'm probably only gonna do hazel for this. Whoa. That I think that's all that one again. Mix are good. And they see it starts to kind of, wants to clump in the bowl too. See? 
That's kind of, whoops, I just splashed it everywhere. It's kind of how you know, but you know what? I am going to add a couple sprays of alcohol. And that's all she needs. Mix it good. Keep it off the edge. All your alcohol will most likely accumulate to the sides. And then you test. Same deal. Test. Can you manhandle it? Is it breaking? Does it want to stick together? Yes. This could actually use... Uh, it's not going to hurt it to give it one more. <laughs> As I scrape three. <laughs> but you know what I mean. You'll know by feel. It's got to have that proper... That proper texture. So I think we're there. And like I said too, if you let it sit now for a second, it does tend to get a little bit damper. So, okay, I'm going to change my gloves here because I don't want to mix too much blue with the white. Ah, uh, I'll tell you about, you can do, if I wanted to add mica and stuff to that blue, I could. It'd be fine because of the SLSA. Um... And like I said, if you were worried, you could do the poly 20 mixed with your apricot oil, but you, I mean, you don't, you don't have to. Oh, I'm feeling the humidity now, guys. Is everybody following so far? <laughs> uh, when I do the eyeballs, there's a couple things you can do. Some of you guys I know aren't big on painting, or maybe you are. You can get those candy eyeballs. And you would put the candy eyeball in first, and then your bit of blue, and then your white bomb to give you the eyeball pupil instead of having to paint. I mean, they can be done any way you like. I always paint mine because I make them gory afterwards. Okay, so these are ready. So, I'm not going to put candies in. Make sure I have, do I have my red embeds? Okay, we got some red embeds here. I do have some... Uh, I have some red uh, powdered mix left over from my hearts. I'll be using that for inside as well. So, all right. Can you guys see? Here's the bomb mix or blah, 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 powder. Taking a tiny bit of blue, okay? And I'm just putting it in the center, trying to make it as round as possible because that's going to be the iris. Then we take the white, obviously, because we're filling it up as an eyeball. Okay, so there's the one half. I'm going to use a little bit of the red mix I made. I'm also going to put in a red, a red embed right in the center. And I'm going to heap, i got to move this over because we don't use the blue as much. Let's move it over. There, and I'm going to heap on some white. Not pushing, guys, remember? It's just, like, lightly heaped on with a mound. And I put my hand over it like this just to kind of... It forms it so it's not going to all fall off, okay? So now the other half, obviously there's no color. It's just white. So you put it in nice and loose. You can stick your finger in if you guys feel that that's going to help for, um, you know, for floating. You can put another embed in here, too, if you want lots of blood for your eyes. I'm going to just use the red powder. Put my finger in, just for an extra air hole. Fill it up loose. Fill it up loose with a heap. A little more heap isn't going to hurt anything. I cap it, so it don't roll away. Now I got my two halves. Alright. Push them together. Push, 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 push. There should be a bit of resistance. A bit of resistance, but you shouldn't be going and breaking yourself, okay? There should be resistance, a bit. If your mold goes together way too freaking easy, your bomb is not packed enough, and your bomb will most likely either crack, fall apart, or crumble because it's not all nicely compacted together into one solid chunk. So, yes, these are those molds you don't normally have to tap, but I just like to make sure you go around until you hear the conk. That's a conk. That's a conk. Kind of a conk. Just make sure. You can give it a little bit of a squeeze, too. Just gentle around the seam. Okay? Pull it off. There's the blue end. I mean the blue end. This is the white end, which is good. You want the bottom side to come out first so you can put it down. 
I usually hold them over the tray and then lift the top, but I want to show you guys. It doesn't want to come off, does it? This does happen. So gently squeeze, pull. Now that's the beginning of my eye. It doesn't look like much because, why? There's no painting. I have to draw a pupil. I have to draw the lines. I have to go around here as well. And then we're going to do the red blood. But that is basically it. There is your beginning of your eyeball. Um, when I tell you guys how to, to store or to, to dry these so you don't get flat bottoms, this is a muffin tray. I have some foamy type wrap stuff on it. I set the bombs in the dent. It acts like a little hammock. Okay, so your bomb's not going to get flat. It's sitting in the dent like a little hammock. See, it's wobbly a little bit, a little bit wobbly. But each bomb gets its own little pocket to sit on. You can put a towel on this. You can put um, anything and then put a piece of saran wrap on it so that it holds or whatever. So I'm going to have to make a few of these. I don't know if you guys want to see me make them all, but we'll do it again. Just a couple. So there's my blue. I try to keep it in a circle at the bottom. Put some white in. We gotta make room for an embed and the red stuff. So I'll put my thumb in there. Put a little bit of red in there. Take a red embed. You could put black embeds in here too. It'd be so creepy. You could do anything. You could have it so it's like infected. You could put green, which was what I was thinking of doing originally. I was going to make it so it would be like an infected, disgusting, festering eyeball, but I didn't do it. <laughs> so put my thumb in. Put a little bit of red. Keep her up with some white. See, it's loose, but then you do this. You don't want it so loose that when you push down, there's nothing. There's no resistance. you got to make sure there's enough there. Like, so if I put my hand over, it doesn't go flat, then I know there's enough mix here, right? But you'll find out. If you push it together and it goes too easy, like, there we go. We got a tiny bit of resistance, and that's what you want. Usually it meets up pretty good. Clean off your seam so you can see. So that's a perfect, perfectly lined up. See, this guy is, like, perfectly lined up. Let me clunk a -rooney. I have a feeling this is going to be the blue part this time. Nope, nope, good. Bottom first. So then I usually just put it on the tray. Squeeze the top, mold a tiny bit. I know you can't see me. I don't think you can. And you pull it off. It's perfect. Do you guys want to watch me make them all? Or uh, maybe, I don't know, if you ask questions, if Heidi's still on, maybe she can ask. And I wish there was sound. I really wish I could hear you guys asking me stuff. Drives me crazy that I can't hear you. <laughs> it's one of those things I don't like. Because I'd love to be able to go, oh yeah, that's so and so and so. But I guess that would be more. Get out of here. I guess that would be more so if I was like doing Skype or something. Which. Uh, <laughs> no, I haven't done the Skype thing yet. I don't know if I want to. Crap. You know what I just realized I did though? Guys? I made too much blue. So I would have been fine. With probably only two handfuls of blue. I'm going to have a lot of blue left over. This sucks. Okay. I'm not going to be able to make as many as I want. I can usually get about six or eight of these. But I just screwed up and made way too much blue. So I'm going to have to figure out something to do with the blue. I don't know. Any suggestions what I'm going to do since I have so much blue in here? Didn't calculate calc I didn't calculate that one right. There's the clump. Oh, blue came out first. That's okay. So yeah, you can see how that's going to be an eye, right? If not, you guys will see when I paint them. But they come out good. You should wipe your molds out in between. If you start finding your bombs are sticking, just give the inside of your mold a wipe. Um, if you have a really bad mold, like the uh, aluminum ones, they couldn't hurt to be sprayed with some cyclomethicone. Um, that always seems to help. Just make sure you wipe it out. Don't just spray it and leave the stuff. You spray it and then wipe it. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough to do a lot of these. That's a bummer. All right.
But your mix should stay, you know, fine for a while. You're in deep bowls. If you start where, using low bowls, like the low wide bowls, like I have sometimes, you're not going to, uh, you'll have to spray more because they'll start drying out. I think I screwed that one up. Oh, nope, I didn't. Okay. There we go. So, yeah, I don't even know if I have enough white to make one more. Shoot. I guess I could make mini eyeballs, maybe. I don't know. I really did not calculate that well. That just made me four bombs. whoop de doo Yeah, that made me four bombs. I wonder if I can get five. Yeah, I might get five. Let's try one more. In goes the blue. Oh, that guy's going to have a big eyeball. <laughs> fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it. You guys see the sweat dripping off me? Well, it's not dripping, thank God, because if it did, that would be very bad. But I'm hot. I don't know if I'm going through who knows what. But I'm hot. No, it's really hot in this house right now. Oh, guys, this is going to be tight. <sighs> Crap. Well, let's see if we can do it. Let's see. There's some white. We got a bit of red. And you know what? A lot of times, guys, if you do have leftover mixture, you can use this to make foaming bath salts. It's not a loss. Just leave it so that it dries loose. And then you can use it to mix with your salts. Yeah, I think I have enough just to make one more. Okay. This is what happened to me last time I made these, and I had to make white and blue swirl bombs because... Oh, I didn't put enough in that one. Can you tell? Look it. This is what happens, guys. If you don't put enough mix in your bomb, see that? Right there. That's what happens. Just like that. And that's how you have a hard time making your bombs stick together. When you have two compacted sides like that, I see tons of people making their bombs where they pack it in, pack it in, then they put the loose hump. It doesn't always work so great, but we're going to try. Because it's really all I can do at the moment. But I have a feeling we may not be successful. Oh, this goes against everything I do. No, it ain't gonna work. Not gonna work, my friends. Not gonna work. No. Okay, so we managed to get, uh... Shoot. Well... Alright, we got four. <laughs> I'll be making more of those, that's for sure. So, that sucks, because that was... That's why you don't make the bombs like, uh... Like I've told you guys before. I gotta get these off. Ugh. You know how I showed... I'll move over here. You know how I showed in my proper molding video about not packing a half tight and packing another half tight and heaping? That's why. You'll never get a great bomb. You'll end up cracking it in the middle the whole bit, so... That's a drag, because they were good, but see, they would have been packed too hard anyways, and these would have sunk, so. Yeah, these are going to be for something else, so we're just going to probably zombie ass, if that's what I'm thinking, so. Whoop-dee-doo, eh? I made four bombs, and that was a full mix. That doesn't say much, but mind you, with the amount of mix that's in there, I could at least get at least three, maybe four more bombs, smaller size, so it's okay. Not a loss, just not eyeballs. <laughs> oh, you guys get that when you pull it apart and it stays in the halves? Yeah, it's usually, not always, but sometimes because the suction's not broken. That's why I whack them. So if they're together like this, and you go to pull and say you get one half, this half doesn't come out. It's just because the suction's not broken, so you just put the half back on, give it a couple more taps with your spoon or something, and then you should be able to pull it off. Give it a little tiny squeeze, like this, all the way around, and it should help. Should. Okay, I'm missing stuff. Oh, a 
want bomb dust, at least the bonus about bomb dust is it's not a waste, right? I mean, I could, if I've, <laughs> you know, since you're on the topic of bomb dust, would you like to see something? I know I don't show you guys this too much. I'm only going to show you a few, but uh, these are the, this is bomb dust. This is bomb dust. I use this for my uh, zombie acid, and then I do stuff to it. I've got about four more bags, so don't think that I don't do it, guys. Sometimes, I can't say that most of them are from failed bombs, but there are some from bombs that I just, I found weren't, like, say I was going for the glittery effect. And then after testing or someone's tried them, it's, like, not glittery enough. So then I just bust them up and I won't, I won't sell them as that. I'll use them for something else. So, it's not a waste. Don't think of it as a waste. Just, you know, pack it up. Like I said, I got my uh, pink in there that I use for stuff. I think I have... Is this the other one? Yeah, I've got the green one for when I make some zombie... I'm making some zombie viruses stuff. So, you can always use them for whatever. It's not like it's a waste. <laughs> you guys are funny. Anyways, is there any questions about this or what? Oh, what? Why didn't I hide the extra blue inside the white? Uh, because they're supposed to be like Halloween gory bombs. And there's um too much blue to hide inside the white. You know what I'm saying? I wanted the bombs to be gory looking eyeballs so that when they fizz in your tub, it's bloody. If that makes sense. It's a Halloween bomb. If I was doing normal eyeballs, well, then I'd probably keep the blue. That's all. <laughs> Are you staring at me? <laughs> now I'm not going to do it anymore. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> That's so not fair. <laughs> it's like, what are you thinking, Romina? What are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. That's so not fair. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to go to therapy after this. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You're right up nose to nose. <laughs> That's what I say. Oh, you guys are too funny. <laughs> now I can't talk. Oh, God, anybody else watching this are going to think I'm like completely losing my mind. Oh, it's too funny. Oh, God. Oh, God, did you hear the old ass head come home? <laughs> Sorry, that's between you. <laughs> oh, my God. If that's the case, what does freaking Myra do when she puts me on the TV? <laughs> That would scare the crap out of you, watching you on the big screen, and all of a sudden my face comes right up to the screen. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, I need sleep. No, actually, no, I don't. I'm good. Heidi needs sleep. I'm keeping her up. Bah. Anyways, I'm done, I think. Um... <laughs> Oh, I can just picture everybody's faces up to the screen watching me. I can't think straight. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Oh, you guys are too much. Too much. Um, oh, shit. See, I can't even think now. Thank you so much. Cheers. I think I need a shot of rum in this Coke. Uh, so anyways, no questions. But if there is questions after, fire them underneath the video for me. Um, or the group, for those of you who don't know, I'm sure some of you, most of you, I can't tell who, the group is open. Did I mention that in this video yet? The group is open. It's called Atomic Noobs. It's specifically for you YouTube guys that need the help in the beginning stages of making bath bombs. Not for experienced, experienced. If you guys want something, message me because we have another option for you. Um, beginners are for the noobs, okay? The noob, the noob group. 
anybody more experienced still having issues, you can message either me, um, Aminia, or Heidi. Don't don't message Heidi today. She needs her sleep. <laughs> but message us, and we may have another option for you guys, if that makes sense, okay? Uh, anyways, on that note, now that I can't get this vision of everybody's face up to the freaking screen, um, I'm gonna go. And this was the longest video I think I've done in a long time. But I'm coming at you, that's right. Anyways, guys, take care. Like I said, I... Even in group, if you guys have something, say you don't get, or you want me to cover it, or you want me to do like a one-on-one, -on -one, but I can't do a one-on-one, -on -one, obviously. I can do videos in the group. I can do video group, video, I can do videos here, too, if you want, or whatever. Just, you just have to let me know, because, I mean, I've done so many videos that I'm probably repeating myself, but the thing is, if people still have questions, I want to, to do it specific to the questions if I can, right? To help you guys out. That's sort of the idea. Sorry, my eyebrows are crying. Um, oh, I just wiped blue all over my face. Shit. So, yeah, just post the questions, whatever. And like I said, if you guys want to check out the groups or the group, message me or Heidi or Omnia and we'll uh, we'll help you out. The, uh, the new group is Atomic Noobs. And like I said, if you're more advanced, just message us and we'll go from there. Anyways, guys, enjoy your Sunday. It's supposed to be a day of rest. That's never the case of this house. Never, 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 ever. So, on that note, I will have to figure out what to do with the restovers, the restovers, leftovers, and uh, I'll put my poor sad four eyeball bombs away. <laughs> oh my god, that's so sad. I made four freaking eyeballs. But, too bad I couldn't make like a massive, huge bomb and put those bombs in for the eyes. That would be cool. And I just gave myself another idea. Little bath bomb molds, little ball eyeballs, big skull molds. Oh, ha. Oh, ha. Okay, guys, I gotta go before my brain explodes. Too many ideas. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you later. Enjoy your Sunday. And like I said, please don't be afraid to ask any questions or comments or whatever you guys want to yap. Go for it. Plus, you can always message me on my Facebook page or my Facebook business page or any of the group pages. Just have at her. Okay, guys? That's what we're here for. Talk to you later, guys. Uh, enjoy your day.